Hey guys, what's happening? So, time to replace the batteries in this truck again. It's a 2006 Ford F-250 Power Stroke 6 liter. So it's my third set of batteries that I've had in seven years since I've owned this truck. But um, the issue is, well, like two years ago I fixed a like a really bad parasitic draw. I mean, everybody about that, but the parasitic draw wouldn't allow my uh, security module to go into sleep mode. So it drained, the, it kept on draining the batteries, and that's... The worst thing you do with lead acid batteries is, is drain the battery. So that's actually how I destroyed the first two sets of batteries. So I fixed that problem a couple years ago. But I mean, I tried to salvage the batteries as long as I could for an extra couple years um, with the flow charger. It actually works, still works. But uh, like when I go up to Big Bear when it's cold, if I don't have that thing plugged into the flow charger, it, like in the morning, I can't even start the truck. It, like it kills the batteries overnight. So I'm going back up to Big Bear in about a week and a half. So need to get some good batteries um, I do some work on the cabin but um, so I'm actually looking at some of the Walmart I'll, I'll show you what I'm looking at but the Walmart uh, AGMs really good deal come back alright so here are the batteries I'm looking at here group 65 um, Everstart AGM so that's actually a really good deal cheaper than I could find on uh, Amazon uh, for AGM I mean I can get a cheaper battery like uh, the lead acid battery, this other one here for less than 100 bucks, but I'm willing to actually sacrifice some of the cold cranking amps for AGM uh, just because AGM is a lot more forgiving in cold weather and also, um, I mean I live in Southern California so it's never cold but when I go up to Big Bear it gets freezing you know, so it's I have issues up there um, but I mean AGM batteries you know, just they, they last a lot longer and I have those in my early Bronco and I have those in my other car, so I definitely prefer EGM batteries. Um, all right, so i got to go to Walmart and pick those up. And uh, I'm also going to pick up some uh, Rotella T6 540 um, and a filter when I'm up there. So, all right. Oh, by the way, uh, Walmart doesn't actually make batteries. So and this, these might be made by Johnson Controls. I'll get a... I'll, video it when I get back, but yeah, they don't actually make batteries. There's only a few different companies that actually make batteries in the U.S. So, uh, regardless if it says Everstart or Die Hard or whatever, you know, uh, there's only a few companies that actually make the batteries. All right, here are the batteries. So, I guess they're about five and a half years old. So, the actual uh, driver's side battery was fine. It was this, actually, uh, battery, which actually had a bad cell. And, uh, yeah, so I was getting about a little, like, you know, I'm at 11 and a half volts out of this one, but it was actually bringing down the other battery. So, yeah, like I said, I was able to get it going, keep it going with my float charger. That I keep it always on a float. But, alright, um, yeah, I took them out of the car because they're going to charge me a core fee. So, alright, here are the batteries. It was start playing on me, Jam. One thing I didn't notice though is they're made in Korea. Made in South Korea, lead acid battery. Um, yeah, I'm not a rookie to batteries. I mean, I made a lot of battery videos. That's a six volt deep cycle. A couple of uh, Lifeline both deep cycle marine batteries. And uh, I've actually had a hit or miss luck with the Optima batteries. I've actually had one that lasted a couple of years, and I had one the last ten years. So it's. And I'm currently running a yellow top in the Bronco. And that's my uh, battery backup bank right here. So in case the power goes out, I have uh, silent power. Then I also have a backup generator too. But yeah, I can actually run that for a couple days, just the minimal stuff. Um, actually, the battery that I'm missing right there is the one I had a failed, uh, I lost a cell, that battery. But I'm going to go back to the. I got install this real fast and see if they work. So yeah, I am going to be losing, like I said, about 200, almost 200 cool cricket amps. Yeah, by having these. So, but hopefully they're going to last a lot longer and they're less susceptible to uh, drain. Or damage, you know, when you drain them. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use this wire brush and just clean up every single connection while I have it off. Oh, let's put this on there. Anti-corrosion. Got the terminal on, got the batteries in. So I made another video about me. I added a whole bunch of extra grounds in my truck. Alright, so my, my volant thing kind of covers my battery. And we'll start it up. Hey guys, first fire up here. So, power stroke diesels are really brutal on batteries. Uh, the main reason is that um, the glow plug igniter 
puts an extreme amount of strain on the engine. Plus, the alternator won't even start charging the battery. Uh, it won't even kick in until like about a minute or two after the uh, engine started. So you're, you need enough battery to run the engine, you know, for about a minute or two before the alternator kicks in. All right, so my computer's gonna reset, so I'm gonna have to redo my uh, drive cycle again, my smog. I'll reset my radio. Well, I mean, it didn't feel like it had an insane amount of power, but I don't know how charged these batteries are, but we're running. Yeah, they'll kind of suck. I don't think this thing even shows you volts, this one right here. This boy dog thing is not great. I normally use my torque over here. But, all right, it does work, so. All right, so I'm still gonna keep this on a float, but batteries work. Yeah, because I don't, sometimes I don't drive this truck for a month, and even though, um, I have to switch this to AGM batteries. AGMs actually, they uh, charge at a higher rate. So cold AGM. That's my little float charger here. And see, I made a video about that, but. All right, cool. Batteries are cheap. I mean, that's pretty cheap for AGM. Like, I pay an insane amount of money for the Optimas. Like the one I have my Bronco and that red one I just showed you, but we'll see how long these last. You know, four year warranty, but uh, like I said, AGMs are kind of hit or miss. So, I mean, I guess any kind of battery is hit or miss, but at least these things are more forgiving when it comes to like discharging. So, now that I've actually fixed my parasitic draw a couple years ago, shouldn't have that problem. So hopefully, I won't destroy these batteries, but three something out the door and I got the oil too. So, all right, cool. See how these hold up.